Hey everyone, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Today we're skinning a rabbit. Uh, I bought uh, 18 rabbits this past weekend and I'm processing two of the bucks that didn't meet my standard uh, for, for meat production. Um, the quickest way to dispatch a rabbit is actually cervical dislocation. I have them on my chicken uh, shackle right here and which worked great because um, his head stayed or fit in between the top of the shackle. So I placed it in between and grabbed both legs and pulled down quickly. Um, it severs the spinal cord and you don't have to worry about uh, uh, not doing it right. Um, so, and also it holds his feet. Um, I'm keeping the pelt, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to process. I'm, I'll tan out the pelt and uh, get uh, uh, a fairly nice skin out of it. So, but how I start is cut a ring around the back legs. Taking the knife, cutting down the thought, the, the inside of the leg, if I can, there we go. Along the back side as well, or the other leg. Let's see, there we go. And then basically tear the skin from one incision to the other. And then pulling the skin down around the leg on both sides. Then the back side, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and pinch where the vent, the anus, and his penis is and cutting off the tail from here just pull straight down like a tube till it reaches his front legs Work his front legs out. Like that. And the other side. The other one was much more easy to do. And then pulling down a little bit more. So now the uh, skin is completely removed from the body. The uh, front legs as well. Now I'm going to uh, take my scissors and cut a ring around the front legs. So I can save the hide. Pull that out and do the same thing around the other side. So like this and then I just cut a ring and pull it out. Since I want to keep the skin as well um, and then you cut a ring around the head
and there's the hide. It's turned inside out, and I'll fix that in just a second. From here, I like to take and remove the head, which is fairly easy to do since you broke the spinal cord. Um, and then take my pair of scissors again, go up the chest. It's bleeding a little bit. From here, you'll see this is the uh, it's bladder. And take that and kind of push it down so I can grab a hold of it and pinch it off. Uh, I'm setting this to the side because I have a coyote out here and I'm going to use that as a lure. Um, push down where the anus was. And remove the intestinal tract. From here, you'll see uh, the kidneys right there. The liver, the stomach, and the small and large intestines, and also the spleen which is, let's see, where did it go? I just saw it, right there. That goes in the nasty bucket. Normally I'd keep the livers as well, but I haven't found a recipe yet, uh, except for pate. Um, kidneys, pull them out. This is the diaphragm, and this is where the lungs would have been, or would have expanded. And peel that out. And also the heart. So you got the lungs, heart, there. I'll put that in the bucket as well. And that's, that's it. There's no fecal material in the uh, left because I pulled the um, intestines out and the, uh, it just needs a rinse. Wash my hands. Rinse the blood off of the jack. Rinse the cavity out. Pull them off. And then I take my uh, chef's knife, cut the feet. Basically, you're just cutting the bone, and there you go. One clean rabbit. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll package this up and take it and set it in the freezer. I'm going to eat one of them this week. But yeah. Uh, if you like what you see, feel free to comment. I haven't posted a video in a while. I know. Sorry, but um, I will uh, continue showing different things that are going on the farm. I know I said that before, but if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment below, and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.